Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial Series for version 2.7 of the game. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 17 and it is the year 2384. There is a war going on between the United Information Alliance, which is us, and the Coalition of Sovereign Nations. So the Coalition of Sovereign Nations is the Sovereign Lachax Domains, the Tzikian Interstellar Assembly, and the Visari sovereign sons and if we pull back on the map we can probably easily figure that out with the opinion map mode so it's there's the sovereign lachax domains there's the tzikian interstellar um so we're going to want to block this up here we have a pretty good fleet there we, we're going to want to get down here they're about to enter into our star base over here uh, so this is going to be interesting. We have one of our fleets there on a hurry up. Needs to get over to there. And in fact, uh, what's the other ones doing? These guys are going to come through here too. Not exactly sure where the where the biggest threat is going to come from, but I do know that I I wish I could have got that node. That's a great choke point. Instead, there are two over here, and this is uh, basically Anchorage. Anchorage and resource silos. There's a lot of planets right there. Wow. Oh, there's habitats. Very nice. Huh. Well... Trying to think about what I want to do here. This is what? This is shipyard. Okay, and then we're just going to have to hold them there with ships. Go for the naval logistics office. One thing I need to do. Let's go back to my ship designs. So, we unlocked this technology a while ago and we never got around to doing anything with it. Um, right here, you get jump drives. It's the only thing in the game that Stellaris doesn't automatically upgrade for you really. You can see it when you have auto upgrade set on and you unlock new technologies it just automatically upgrades your blueprints for you for these ships but when you get jump drives it doesn't do it so you actually have to go in there does not have enough power and that's fine because uh, crystal infused plating is worth 110 points and the nano hammer is worth 145 so on small corvettes like this we'll just like this and we can put the sapient combat AI on there that gives it better so I guess it also doesn't upgrade to sapient combat AI and jump jets everything else has been upgraded you can see the bonus from this one 10% ship fire rate and 10% evasion to here 15% ship fire rate and 25% evasion so now their evasion is 90% it makes your core rates pretty freaking awesome if we go over here <coughs> And look at these. Same situation. We'll put jump drives. Jump drives are just incredibly cool. He's going to run out of power. And what I'm going to do is, now that we're done with the, with the determined exterminator machine guys who were using uh, a lot of armor killing weapons, uh, we're going to go back to a 50-50 kind of split. Uh, here, in fact, what I'm going to do, i got a little bit more armor than shields. So I can either put armor regen on it. Or we could put shield capacitor on it, which you see brings that up a little bit. I'd probably rather just have the armor region. So we're going to save that. Oh, yes. Save that. Well, let's do the Sapient Combat AI for them. Sapient Combat AI can go wonky at the end of the game during one of the end game crises. So that's something to be aware of. So we'll get all of our ships here uh, set up. These have what? What is medium advanced shields? Shield hit points 215, shield points 275. Oh, because of power is why when it was upgrading, it's like I can't upgrade anymore. I see how you are. Oh, and up here I want these kinetic artillery. These are the bomb. 
And we can't put neutron launchers on there. So we'll do a little bit of this upgrading. These whirlwind missiles. Yep, got all this stuff here. Flagella. There are some enemies that you can face in the endgame crisis who will also... Uh, for which the your best option will be to go all armor on them. So, having different designs ready to go is a good thing to do. Okay, same thing here. That's set up. Bah, 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 bah. Jump drive. Safety and combat AI. Jump drive. It's got everything else set up, so. Okay. All those, so now everybody's gonna have jump drives after we upgrade them at shipyards. This thing down here, what do you have? You have no defenses, oh. That's a shame. We built all that a while ago and then we never. Oh, and there is an ion cannon now, by the way. You have to go all the way down here. And unfortunately, the ion cannon doesn't start out. Oh, it, they fixed it. There used to be a bug to where this did not start out with the ion cannon in its default slot. Um, which was a little bit weird. So I'm going to fix this this way. And I, I always get rid of... I always get rid of that design and just call it Ion Cannon and then delete their version of it. We also have a Juggernaut that we can finally build. You need a fully upgraded Citadel, I think, to station to build this, but uh, these are very, very cool. Lots of cool stuff here. I tend to go for a uh, Giga Cannon. It's got the Tachyon Lance. Uh, Amoeba Flagella are still... Your Strike Craft do damage 6 to 17. They have an average damage of 40 per day. These have an damage of 40 per day. They do a, a 20 to 30 burst damage. Um, so the cooldown for them is twice as long as these. Um, you can see the range on these is 10. The range on these is 10. The whole hit points on them are 45. The whole points on these are 50. The shields on these are 30 compared to... Uh, and these, let's see, that's for us. Whole points, th 45. Shields, 30. These only have 50 hull points. And then their evasion is 50%. The evasion of these. So it's better. I think our advanced strike craft are actually better. Speed 700. Yeah, they're even faster. I think it's better to leave our advanced strike craft in here. Um, and then what I usually do on these guys is just go all. Penetrators. Go over here. And it runs out of power very quickly, and that's totally fine. Have to do this just for it's got all of that shield re regen, but you can give it some extra. You could split this. You can see its shields. Very tough cookie. I always call it jugs. And it needs a jump drive, which it has. And it needs a sapient combat AI, which tells it, stay at long range and shoot its long range weapons. Things will fly in close if they want to. And get eaten up. This is a base ship speed, power thrusters. But here's the cool thing. Down here, it has this extra component, component a strike command, which gives you a lot of different benefits. Strike craft damage, 20%. This is the one everybody seems to use the most. Is that effect on allied ships. You're always going to have allied ships around this thing. And it adds to their weapon range, 40%. Um, hyper jump charge time so it can move faster through hyper gates. Big deal. Point defense damage. It doesn't have any point defense on it. So, <laughs> I don't even know why that's an option. Point defense damage, 30. Effect on hostile ships. Oh, so hostile ships. Their firing rate is slower and point defense damages and then an overbuild bombardment so point yeah point defense damage big deal so yeah take this save that and so we can go back to here and we can say when you're building this stuff build the ion cannon and then build a few more there it goes so these guys are gonna 
You're coming in there and fighting and uh, fighty bitey. He's just staying there right now, so that's a good sign. Uh, they have several planets right there. They have four of them. Wow, so what we're going to do is move these guys down here. We're going to come take their systems from them. And also, in our planet, we have one of these planets down there. It has a W on it. Where is it at? Frontier sector is not there. We need to get our frontier sector set up. Right here. Titan. Let's go to this planet. Where is it at? It's right there. Titan. Oh, and we're not collecting trade from that thing? What's going over here, Nomad? Okay, change one of these to a trade hub. Because I'm building ships in most other places. I want to grab Titan's trade. But over here on Titan, we can recruit... A bunch of cool stuff. Our armies, we can click Gene Warrior armies, but we can uh, recruit Titanic Beast. We can recruit a lot of these guys. Wow. I can recruit three of them. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. And then we got Gene Warrior armies and Robotic Assault armies. Robotic Assault armies, you can see they do 2.1 to 4.2 damage. Gene Warrior armies do twice that. Of course, their upkeep is twice that as well, but I'm going to... I'm going to recruit some of them, and when they're ready to go, we'll get them up here and join forces with these guys. Uh, so, in light of that... Then research concluded. We have research concluded. We're going to keep grabbing admin capacity for now, because it's a thing we're short on. We're also going to go over here. Relic activation. This one's for technology. This one's pop amenity usage. But I'm going to keep putting things on other planets as much as I can. Three new pops will spawn on that one. And I want to go up here and get this. You can see no sectors. So where is the central one over here? Probably Ozone X. So let's go to Ozone X. One, you can be the sector capital. Create a new sector. And we're going to give you a governor. Let's see. Somebody who's probably fights crime or planetary build speed, bureaucracy, ship build cost. I'm going to go for that. Because I think we're going to have to build a lot of buildings after we purge all of the all the bad boys and when the purging is done so while our ships are moving we'll worry about some of our other planets here concern ourselves with them civilian industries <coughs> this habitat doesn't quite have enough people yet for anything Trappist is saying hey I don't have Okay, I'm gonna, uh, this will be the final upgrade on that planet. I'm not concerned with that anymore. This planet we said we're going to do refineries on, and crystals continue to be the things we need the most. This planet needs growth, so you put a gene clinic on it. Not a gene clinic, a clone vat. Research and it can take crystal mines, very nice. Okay, engineering from research. Let's see. Minerals from jobs. Oh, Elgate Insights. Not worried about the Elgate right now. I got enough going on with this war. I'm going to do kinetic stuff. On the relic world, it says, hey, we no longer have any room to grow. And I'm like, well, I understand that. What I can do is replace the robots with luxury housing and upgrade it to a paradise dome. On this planet, they're going to need jobs very quickly, so upgrading research works. Consumer goods. This habitat, waiting for the next slot to unlock. This is doing good. What are we putting Space on here? Research pirates that must be dealt with. Oh, and this can take an alien zoo. Let's build that first. 
I like the sounds of that. And also, do we have a tech thing down for energy? Energy grid. Get that down. What is this? Produces max generator districts. I, gotta, I like to make sure I'm not wasting special resources. Slots. Synthetic crystal plants. Okay. And how are we doing for moats? Moats is getting low, but we're okay. So synthetic crystal, that sucker. Our neighbors are coming over here. They're going to be in this position. It'll be nice. What's on the Senate floor? It's in it's in recess. So, okay. Construction project concluded. We can go up here and we can see in these systems. Gateway construction site ready in the dip H system. Let's see. Fine. Dip H. Where is that? got to go do this so you lose track of this stuff. Okay, so that was right there. Perfect. Okay, great. And you are grabbing trade and then put one hangar bay in here. Okay, I know where I want you to build the next one. Way up here. Probably up there. We're going to need to get back and forth. So that sector is taken care of. We can turn the sector mac mode off. Tersonia, she's putting research on. She says, hey, I could use some more jobs, but we're gonna we'll build those out ahead of time. Nanix, this is this is all these new worlds and we haven't decided what we're going to do with them yet and they're going to be purging a lot of people so we're just going to wait until see you can see the vast majority of the species there's 79 pops and only one of them is ours right now all these buildings are going to be destroyed so we're not concerning ourselves with anything on those new planets right now just don't worry about the frontier sector where is this one this is oh down here okay so Ekienth can be the sector capital there. We'll give it a leader. Are they doing any bureaucracy down there? Nope. It's minerals, food, food. If, if we had a food person, it'd be great. We don't. So, Oh, we do. Right there. Perfect. Get a little bit of boost from that. This one says, I can use some more jobs. And we'll be able to do this. Get rid of those. That'll be wonderful. Oh, look. Some of them made their way in. Who are these guys? Oh, they're pirates. Okay. Uh, what we can do about that, since it's going to be shutting off some piracy. Let's see. Because where is all this piracy coming from? Oh, from all the stuff coming through the wormhole. So I know what we need to do. You, where are you going? Nope, don't go there. I want you to stop right here. I want you to build a gateway construction site right there. Where are you going? Yes, good. Go back there and build it. Everything that comes through that wormhole can then go through a gateway and jump right to no mod. Should be fantastic. All right, this ship is down here. It's ready to go. Oh, and can no mod? Hold on. Enforcers reduce crime by an additional 20%. Capital buildings provide more housing. I'm gonna grab that. Uh, this is a fully upgraded shipyard, but I think you have to have, yep, yeah, I think you have to have Titan or assembly or Colossus assembly shipyard is on them before you can build the juggernaut we can go in here and look the Titan requires the Titan assembly yards and the juggernaut requires the colossal assembly yard so we have a shipyard up here designed just for this kind of stuff and uh, it's got a deep space black side in it but we'll get rid of it and it's got naval logistics office and we don't care so we're gonna go Titan assembly yards Colossus assembly yards Go Colossus first so we can build a juggernaut. That's why having the mega shipyard is really nice. 
And uh, what is he doing? He's building nothing. Where would we like to build the mega shipyard? Can we build it here? I'm lacking a bunch of influences why I can't build anything. I'm going to move them over there and see if I can build it there. I often forget the restrictions of what you can and can't do. How's this looking? It's got 5.7k. Go in there. Kill him with your 54k. I just don't want to get swarmed, so I have to pay attention to what they have going on. And they have 12,000 there. And they have what? 17 and 15 and 7 there. They have a bunch. So by the time that all adds up, we should probably go help these guys. Um, why don't you guys upgrade? And upgrade. Initializing and hostile engagement protocols. Reinforce your fleets. Oh, look at all those battleships back there. Just Oh, here comes our allies. Oh, they have 40k themselves. Ooh. That's pretty. Oh, here comes the big fleet. That comes the 12,000 fleet. They're like, oh, we have... We got embroiled in a war. And we might be gonna lose it. <laughs> yeah, our allies up here, we're gonna wanna go help with them. So what are you doing, gentlemen? You're getting... As soon as you're upgrading... Is done. Research concluded. Yeah, those guys are moving on. We're gonna go help them. Mob rule. Dominant crime syndicate on Ozone X two recently eliminated the last of its competitors. Oh, so now we get crime on there for thirty. Okay. Energy weapon shield hit points. These are Energy weapon attack speed. Catch that up with the other ones. Let's take a look at that. Ozone X. So there's a crime. Which means we have some deviancy going on. Um, <clears throat> what do I want to do with this? What would be the best thing to do right now? This is a tech world, so while it's a tech world, we'll do that. Um, decisions... I can declare martial law. The stability is fine. It's just the crime that's high. So. Distribute luxury goods to get people to migrate there. Negotiate with crime lords. Create stability and then your crime really skyrockets. I don't want to do that. Expel excess population. I don't want to do that. So I think that's the best I got. The only thing that would make this better is if I had a crime person. So do I have a crime person I can swap for? Yeah, I got a couple of them. I got this crime person over here. Busy governing the Zimpox sector. You you just got a new job. Zimpoc. Because we're going to go grab their, our free one now. Yeah. And he's got what well, energy credits from jobs and district housing. Great, because we need to send our most crime, crime capable person over there, and that yeah it drops it down. That's nice. So keep doing your thing. Um, you folks, how are you doing? Upgrading ships, upgrading ships. You are at zero percent. You're at five percent. Okay. Let's get that done. Yep, let's go help these guys with this. Let's get this ship moving in here. We want our troops over here and ready so that we can capture those planets. We have these over here. Are these done? Transfer ship. No, they're not done yet. They're still recruiting. I think you can always click on this and check it out. See what it's doing. It's putting them together. So they're not done. I don't really want to move them until they are done. Protus has three unemployed pops. They don't need to. 
No reason for that. Over here, same situation, no reason for that. Let's upgrade that because it costs a moat. There, these guys are going to be out of housing. So here's what you do when you're going to run out of housing. And they're going to run out of housing long before we upgrade all of this. You upgrade one of these buildings to provide jobs because then you're going to take this building and replace it with luxury residences. So they're going to lose two jobs from this being replaced by luxury residence, but they're going to be gain three jobs from this being upgraded. And that will get you to a good position. A good balance. Jobs and places to live. Hab A. It's got it going on. Let's keep putting those crystals out there because that's the most important thing. This one, Research Planet. Again, this is going to run into the same problem. So right here, I'm not even going to waste time upgrading one of the other ones. I'm just going to start putting luxury residences there first. And then upgrade this. And your robots can do the same thing. You can send your robots away. You don't have to. It's nice to keep your robots and your gene clinics hanging around. Your clone vats, I mean. It's nice to keep them going. And then... Uh, when greater than ourselves is turned on, you can automatically move everybody to your ring worlds. But that isn't always possible. So sometimes you need the space. All right, you grabbed that. Go up here and get this planet first. Our neighbors are, are running, and they're running up against 13, and they're still 40. So he's, he's kicking butt, which is great. And we're at... Upgrading 50% upgrading those ships over there. Okay. Oh, and do we have this guy up here? Yep. And he says, This is a science ship. You might want to follow us down here. Striking hostile station. And what's our edicts look like? We have fleet stuff turned on, which is good. Okay. Masters teaching warring states. Kind of want to save my influence for right now. So let's buy some moats. I don't like to waste money. I don't like to have it sitting there doing nothing. So I'd rather like put it in some kind of bank account or something. What's, that's what refinery resources are for me. Let's see about this planet here. Uh, land armies and blah, 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 blah. There's a time. There, there's some debris track on the map. Translate the explorer's text. Let's get that out of the way. Alien species procurement. Where is this at? Track on the map and go to there. Right there. Way over there. I'm going to grab that science ship then. You before before you do anything else, I want you to come over here and finish this because this finishes this quest. And what we can then do is say this one of these science guys can come over here and grab this debris. The Nomad Empire. Just rocking and rolling. And what are we looking at? Yeah, rare crystals are finally on the plus side, but we've been buying 10 of them, so we're still a long way away from being able to wean ourselves off the galactic market for those. The bureaucracy is the thing I'm actually the most concerned about right now. Special project concluded. And we finished the Master's Teaching Philosophical Mindset Empire Edict is available. Um, and this is research speed for society is plus 10 and leader pool size is plus 1. Oh, very nice. I like that. If I wasn't trying to save all my planetary incursion initiative. If I wasn't trying to save all my influence for uh, mega structures right now, I'd be all over that. That's a small fleet over there. 
Let's see. Oh, so there's two planets here, and there's also Schlemmer. Oh, it's a it's a habitat though. And what is this? This is also a habitat. So, and then there's Pristine Jewel, which is a guy world that you don't want to colonize because it'll piss off the Fallen Empire next door. So they built habitats here. Research concluded. Yay. Kinetic weapon. Alright. I like to just mostly go with kinetic weapon stuff, but those armor hit points will also come in handy. So. Vite. Which I was going to put research on, but is there a reason I'm putting research on it other than it's in this system? Vite all by itself. Is there anything on the planet that's making it do that planetary features max Bitharian power plants nope there's nothing specific to it so because we're in a little bit of a bureaucracy problem I'm going to change this and say you're doing bureaucracy it's kicking out some research from something oh from our science director jobs but I would rather do this we're going to make it all the bureaucracy jobs Great. Okay. Because we're way behind now, and that's not good. Alright, so these guys got that. We need to get the other one. Land armies. You can see because our nomad hegemony is uh, on the other side of it instead of just the house planet sign. That means we've captured it. And what happens is you know you have control of the system when the little spikes show on it. So right here. He took those outposts, so he gets the spikes on those. We took this outpost, so we Research get the spikes on concluded. these. Admin capacity and naval capacity. These are the two big things. Oh, army damage is very nice to also start working on that. So he just finished that, and now the spikes are on it. So now you come over here and you say, hey. Land armies. Oh, and look, what do we have here? We have a fleet there. Where is he headed? Go get him. You can tell it red line him. Click on him, it creates a red line. He'll go fleet hunt them down supply. specifically. Up here, these guys are done. Aggressive stancing. So what I'm gonna do is send these folk up here. To help out with that. And what you have to do basically is crush your enemies and then it makes them cry and you can end the war. So in this case, um, a lot of their people are down here. I'm going to go right. Commencing that one's moving. I'm going to send this one right here. I have 157 influence, so I still don't have enough. Yeah, get out of there, boys. Come on, gentlemen. Where are you going? Get over here and get this. Tersonia, you don't need it. Who's got unemployment? Station sustaining damage. You have unemployment. Well, let's raise one of you up. You have unemployment. Can fix that with some more research. You guys, what do you got here? Who do you want to capture next? All these strange named habitats, which I'm not going to worry about. <clears throat> we can see where we're at here. War exhaustion. Mm. The cowrie system. Great, let's go there. Let's go there. When you see that the gateway construction site is ready, then you gotta go down here and click on this and get it building. So that's nice. That's gonna take care of any, any potential piracy problems. It's gonna get taken care of from there because it'll just go gateway straight to gateway at Nomont. Be nice. All right, this guy. 
go over here. You go back down here and grab phlegm, phlegemia. One thing I'm not doing here that I probably should do is you should always check to see how many armies they have on the target world. Because sometimes you'll run into ones that have like 3,000 or something and they will eat your guys alive and then you lose your whole army and that kind of stinks so don't let that happen to you okay upgrade that and then there's five dudes here five specialists so we need to upgrade some other buildings planetary incursion initiative successful and that gives us that system it's got the spikies on it here, get this. Lots of trade. Research concluded. I don't know how much we're going to get for this because this wasn't our war and we don't have any claims in anything. So. Oh, Governor. What? No. <laughs> this is awesome. Our governor, who we put over there because she can uh, handle the criminals, has been assassinated. Gangsters from the Criminals. Criminal syndicate that dominates the underworld on Ozone X2 have assassinated Governor Fatima. The governor's motorcade was cut off as it left the spaceport, and an intense firefight flared up between the escort and security detachment and the attacking gangsters. When the dust settled, the governor was confirmed to have been among the dead. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! I've in a thousand hours of Stellaris, I've never seen that before. That's incredible. Oh wow. Well, guess what, buddies. I still got one more person over here who's a good crime fighter. Are you nervous? Are you nervous, Harvey Dent? <laughs> You're getting reassigned, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was crazy. I like that, though. That was awesome. Which world did we take him from? This one. And it's going to do bureaucracy. So this is the one we want to hire that bureaucracy person for in that system. Oh, no. No, no, no. I want the bureaucracy person that we just hired to go. That'll be great. So here at Vite, we got a bureaucracy person to help boost this building. I need to move some people there. Um, so I'm going to do that. No mod. Let's see. Well, everybody's got jobs now. Okay. Hab A. All right. So we're going to go over here and crush these guys. Maybe. Yeah, we still are. We're going to crush them. Um, Work your worm your way over there. Okay. He's going to commence planetary initiative. incursion initiative there. That's great. Now, we can do something. Well, we can't do it with this group because they don't have the jump drives. Uh, we could do it with this other one, though. I'm going to send this guy over here. This dude. Yeah, he's going to go right into here. I'm going to show you how this works. Oh, are they not all upgraded with jump drives? They're not. Rats. Okay. No, hold on. The war exhaustion, though, is getting very close. Once it gets to 100% for these bozos, then um, the person who started this war can... In fact, they would accept a status quo now, but whoever started this war will be able to... Or whoever the main defender is will be able to enact that. Okay, so you're done. Go up here and grab these. And just make, again, do the safe thing. Make sure there's no armies there. There's 413 armies there, which is significant. And there's that. We still have about 1k worth of guys, though. We do, so we should be good. Oh, we need to get this back, though. He hasn't sent anybody. we got to take that back first. And then come down here. So, oh, you, who is this? Oh, what is this? What is this? Some amoebas just came into our zone, and we're going to turn around <laughs> and nuke them. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, where can you go to repair? You can go all the way over there. Oh, perfect. That's a good spot for you to be then. That'll work. We'll go from there. You guys are coming down here to take that. That's great. And you gentlemen can finish. Go here now. Land armies. Glegobor, this is going to take a while because there's 413. 
with them. And if any point in time you want to watch these armies fight it out when they start to land, it looks like that. So we actually have more than 1k. We have a lot of people. We have 18. And they're, uh, they're going to town there. This is great. Have B on Nomad has unemployment, but it doesn't have it has it doesn't have that last slot unlocked that you see. Thirty nine housing. We have a lot of housing. The problem is going to be coming up with jobs. So probably on the next slot, what we're going to have to do is build another commercial megaplex to provide a bunch of jobs for people. Bureaucracy though, this is the problem. It's costing us twenty one on our technology bonus twenty twenty one percent. Excuse me, cheese. I'm so sorry about that. Um, this planet is done. It doesn't have. Any, so here's the thing what I want to do with this world um, I want to replace this with bureaucracy both of these growth things because uh, we don't need those anymore and I do need the bureaucracy so no track on map debris track 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 if we go down here and we say this dude here oh there's a ship over here you're headed back to there. Why don't you go take him first? You move. Gateway constructed in the Diffia system. So in the Diffia system, where is that at? Diffia. Where is Difta? Oh, it's over there. Good. So that one's done. So now we can see all the trade here. We could just tell this. Oh, well, hold on. Construction project yeah. complete. So we can say that's going straight to there. This, that doesn't have anything. Yeah, so nothing Planetary should really be going through here, but that's successful. okay. Oh, we're maxed out. Let's sell. And let's buy some other things. So that's wonderful. Um... There's a gateway over there now at Vite, and uh, what we need to do here is collect the trade from Vite. So I should probably upgrade Special that to space station. And that finishes the specimens, the Nomad Hegemony, you gain 500 Society Research, 500 Energy Credits, 40 Influence, and a bunch of Unity from doing that. So that's all done. We finish that little little bit of business okay what are you guys doing you're moving over there good gentlemen there's still another thing to take over here Glegmus we're gonna have to rename all that stuff because it's horribly named but that's fine I don't know if we'll end up with any of these things that we've captured if we'll get to keep this or not so These guys, this is all back to normal. We're going to streak our way down through here. This is the Visari Sovereign, and they we'd like to crush them. It'd be nice to end them, actually. I'd really like to capture their stuff and end them as a species. That'd be nice. Uh, defensive platform hull hit points, not as important. When, I really, when, I, when there's nothing here that I really love, I go for kinetic every time. Make my kinetic weapons more powerful. Shipwreck study. Okay, so those guys. Take that back. We got that over there. That's nice. Oh, he's leaving. Okay, what I want you to do then is go repair. Research upgrade. Concluded. Governor level cap and enforcers reduce crime by an additional 20%. Let's do that, and then what I'm going to do is go up here to these planets, Ozone X and stuff, even though it's kind of... See, you can see it's kind of folly to even build anything because they're still destroying people, but what I'm going to do is replace these with this one building slot with precinct houses. And then uh, right now... Let's just give it a tech world. Oh no, let's give it a mining world. Or generator world, that'll work. Designation. So that's ozone one. 
Precinct houses. Let's go to Ozone 2. Do the same thing. Change one of these to Precinct houses. That'll add some crime fighters to tamp down on those guys. And the same thing, since they're all in the same sector. Nanex. We haven't decided what to do with this. Let's make it generate a world as well. Let's take uh, this and replace it with actually the thing in the first slot. Replace it with precinct houses. And then up here at Synthus. Synthon. Thing in the first slot. Precinct houses. Right there. Make it a tech world. Generator world. And see what all that how all that works out all right naval capacity plus administrative capacity we need more of that um can we build the mega shipyard now this is what i wanted to know can we build it there habitat mega shipyard construction like oh i'm lacking 12 i need 300 for it. okay we're almost there Taking a bunch of their stuff. What are we looking at now? 64%. Crushing their their fleets really does a lot of damage to them. So, I'm probably going to go like this. Crush that fleet. Come over here. Crush that fleet. Crushing fleets. It really hurts them. Oh, he's got... F oh, 5,000, not 51,000. <laughs> okay, so you guys are... Can you upgrade? No, you can't do anything there. Can you repair? No. So you can't do anything there because it's not really our station. All right. In that case, what I'm going to do is send you over there. And then send you there. And how's this science ship doing? You got no orders. Great. You're doing this. Research. 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 Do all of those. You guys have come down here and taken this. That's fantabulous. Um, why don't you go do that? Every time you take a system, it adds to this as well, I think. But crushing fleets and taking planets is really... The core of it. And now we have 300, so let's see if we can build it here. Build Mega Shipyard Construction Site. Thank you, right there. And I like that because it's got a wormhole and it's going to have a gateway. I'm going to get this guy to build the gateway. It has a gateway construction site yet and it's building it. So when it has a gateway and this wormhole, and I'll be able to build ships from here and get them all over the place really quickly. End of the United Jagalawa Stars. Receiving transmission. And look at this Federation Association request. The Obadan Sancrosic Assembly, their fanatic xenophile, and their egalitarian. Um, okay, sure. The more people in our federation, the better. And peace. The Jagualo Trade Commission made peace. Federation Association officer voted. This war is still ongoing. Research so up here, the Obadan Sancrosic. Okay, these are all Construction the project. same, so let's grab a tech weapon damage. Let's get this guy, yeah, he's gonna do that, and then also we'll have to go take on this spaceborne organics amoeba thing. Oh, so much fun. Oh, somebody died. Who died? An envoy, so somebody else took their place. Maxed out minerals. Unemployment on this planet. Well, we can't have that. Let's build some research. Let's send that up. How are we doing here? Three? Okay. Oh, here we go. This habitat can build something. Yay! Shipwreck study. Fascinating. Let's give you commercial zones. Over here, Admiral gains a trait. He is now a scout trait. I never pay too much attention to those, as you can tell. 
this doesn't have commercial zones on it. Oh, well, everybody gets commercial zones. That's just them's the rules. That's how we get our trade up. That's how we make our worlds big and strong. Nomad has some peoples. Who are unemployed. I'm not so worried about them though right this second. More interested in this guy crushing folks over here. And this guy crushing folks over here. Cha chunk. How much is this? Not much. Okay. These these losses are going to hurt them. When you're done with that, go over here. When you're done taking that system. And what do we have over here? Leveraged profiteering, diplomatic weight from economy, which is why we said yes. Community. We have a little bit more power than everybody. The Lorongo Shipping Alliance is right next to us. I'd like to, let's see, resolutions. Well, it's the Senate's in session right now. It won't be for long. Um, what I'd like to do is this. Five-year plans. Form a glass. Change council size to two. There's weak support for that. No man hegemony already has a pending resolution. Oh, greater than ourselves, so we can't put another one up. Okay. I understand. Yep, go do that. And then go there, and then go there, and then go there. These guys over here fighting. That's uh That's what we call an ass whooping. This'll be fun. He's about to strike right in here. And there's an amoeba of some kind? Was there? Did it move? It's still there. Oh, they're right there. They're about to get bamboozled. Let's raise hell, gentlemen. 14k, 9k. Oh, yeah, baby. In fact, I'm going to pause this because I never did look and see what their stuff looks like. Yeah, mix of armor and shields, mix of offensive weaponry of all different kinds. So when they're. The AI plays a mix a lot, it's only the endgame crisis that really specializes. Oh, and here come these amoebas. What kind of amoebas are these? They're just amoebas. Large, organic, space amoebas. Okay. Admiral gained the trait adaptable. Research concluded. It's like, I had to fight three different things in there. In that system. Of course I'm adaptable. Armor hit points, strike craft speed. I'm going to get kinetic weapon damage caught up. Oh, that's very nice. Just keep going and crushing them, please. And that resolution passed. And so now, let's see what's going to come up next. Greater than ourselves isn't too far away. Next, enable council veto power. On the Senate floor, but the Senate's in recess. I'm I'm having an, an an easy enough time managing my empire so far so far and not having to move pops around that I'm not concerned about pushing greater than ourselves through yet, but it's that day is coming. So this could use some food processing facilities to help the whole food situation over here. Research concluded. Research concluded. Admiral gained a trait, admin capacity, that gets us above, which is nice, so now we're finally back above the fray there, which is great. This says unemployed pops, we say well, let's see, upgrade this and upgrade that, how are we doing? We're finally getting down on gases, we're going to have to start putting gases down. Uh, so we might want to just do that right here. Put a gas refinery right there, buddy. 
That's our that's our world full of just that stuff, refineries. How are you doing? Do you see anything else here? Oh yep, there's a little bit right there. Research that project. Dyson Sphere panels installed. Excellent. So we come down here. Look, hey. How's that look, people? What do you think about that? Partial Dyson Sphere. Upgrade to the next level, please. Oh yeah, and now it's Gonna add a little bit of that. Yep, now it's kicking that in. So now it's monthly gain is 1800. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And these guys are over here fighting. Right, oh, and there's more amoebas. It's just like, hey. Crushing. Crushing. Let's see in there at 97% war exhaustion, so. I told you, crushing those guys, crushing their, uh, sure, we'll donate, um, that took influence, I didn't really want to do that, but I want it off the screen, <laughs> we're going to come over and capture this stuff, but that, crushing those guys, their armies really, really shoves the war exhaustion over there, crushing their, their fleets, so, that's, gateway constructed in the cavalry system, that's awesome, so it's this gateway over here. Now we know Cowrie's coming over here. And we could tell this guy, go here to there. And then everything just goes from Cowrie to there directly. So that solves. The crime syndicate running Ozone X now controls a significant portion of the trade to and from the planet. They have established total control over several major spaceports where all the trade must go through their intermediates. As a result, our trade income from is down across the board. It's okay because we're not collecting it yet, so I'm not worried about that. Not concerned with that. I'm mostly concerned with just rolling in here and beating these guys' butts. Yep, so let's buy some resources to knock that down a little bit. It's a beautiful thing. Oh my goodness, this fleet is kicking butt. Research concluded. Research concluded. Energy weapon damage. So now, shields, energy weapon attack speed. Okay. Yeah, so how big is their fleet? See, this is the Fallen Emperor. Look at their second fleet there, the Revered Star Flock. 211,000. I have no intention of taking those guys on until my fleets look like that. But then we'll do it. Let's see, we're at 100%. Hopefully someone decides to uh, offer some... Uh, make an offering, make a peace offering and put an end to this thing. Landing armies on Megal. Fascinating. Okay, yeah, fascinating. There's some more, actually. You can go over here, you can research that one, and you can research this one. So, yeah, take their science ships out. Planetary incursion initiative. <clears throat> yeah, and we didn't have claims on any of this, so all this stuff that we conquered was basically for the good of our Federation. Somebody else is going to end up with it, and it's not going to be us. But I'm okay with that. Unemployment right here. Let's fix that by upgrading those guys. Planetary incursion initiative success. Great. Let's go in here and take this other planet. The good thing is we probably since we're probably not gonna actually receive any of these planets or any of this space from this war, we won't have to worry about it taking a hit to our empire sprawl or being low on food or anything because all of a sudden we have all these other pops to take care of. Commencing planetary incursion initiative. And you did it, and now we own that system, so that's wonderful. I think the thing to do might be to withdraw our troops now to Protus. And to take a look at Titan over here and say, are you done recruiting people? You are. So we can take this really powerful army over here 
and make it go join up at protests. <coughs> protests. So these guys are over here. What do they have for fleets down here? Nothing that you can't handle. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, go like this. It can't. It wanted to go around because it saw this station right here. It saw this faster than light inhibitor. So it's like, oh, but I can go around. And these guys are down here, and we could do all kinds of things with them. Uh, another day, another scientific breakthrough. Perfect. Let's go for kinetic weapon attack speed. So we're just in all the repeatables now. And now our life is about building mega structures. So we got the We have the mega structure over here being built. Construction ship working on the mega shipyard construction site. And we have our Dyson sphere over here. So we have two two at one time and later on we'll be able to get a third and being able to do that is nice cuz one of the next things we need to build is a ring world and start sending extra people there. Although we still have plenty of room to grow on all our other planets, so we're not crunched for ring world time yet. It's not it's not that important. Like this, this has extra people. Everything on it is upgraded and it's got extra people, so we can resettle these. Uh, and the place to send them right now is the EQ Monopolis. So we'll take the unemployed people and we'll say, hey, there's life for you on the EQ Monopolis. Your jobs for you. Research concluded. Admin capacity, food from jobs, fleet command limit. Yes, I want to keep getting those. Get our fleets better. You can get your fleet up to a maximum of 260 is the command limit. So that's a good thing to do. And this episode's about an hour long, so we're just going to end it right here at the year 2391 in the middle of this war, at the very tail end of this war. It should come to an end pretty relatively soon, I'm a thing. So, folks, thanks for watching. As always, newbies, I hope you're getting getting good stuff out of this. If you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you dig the channel, subscribe. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. Try to use a timestamp. And if you really want to support my channel, my Patreon's listed in the description below. Make sure to check out my dedicated Solaris guides in the description below as well. Thanks. I'll see you all next time.